Hello everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I'm going to be covering how to get a backpack so you can increase your carry weight by 120 pounds, which is extremely useful. Now this is going to be a long video, so just keep in mind this is a bit of more than a couple of tasks, but you can get it done. Trust me, I'm going to really make it easy for you. So let's get into it here. Now you do get a backpack from completing the main quest. Well, not even the main quest. Early on in the main quest, you do get a backpack. But you're obviously going to want the Pioneer backpack, which we're going to show you how to get. Now, to get this, you're going to have to do this Order of the Tadpole quest. And like I said, it is a bit tedious, but you can get this done, trust me. So to start this, you're going to have to come over to here where I'm showing you on the map and talk to this robot. And this will basically start the order of the tadpole. Um, I did this today probably within two or three hours, but I was recording as well too. So you can probably get this done in a couple hours just to throw that out there. So when he's done talking, um, he's going to give you the order of the tadpole is going to be updated and you're going to get some miscellaneous missions. Now this can be extremely confusing. So you can just keep both up there, which would probably be your best bet. But if you didn't want to and you want to just focus on one of them, I'm going to show you how, which is what a lot of people do. So. Once you start this, there's two miscellaneous missions that you have to do, and that's bravery and helpfulness. Now, it's on the order of the tadpole, and it's under miscellaneous. Now, I knew this, and it confused me a bit, so it might not confuse you, but trust me, it definitely has the potential to. So I'm just showing here, if you take off miscellaneous, you will not be able to see these two objectives on the map. So you need, for you to start these objectives, you need to go under the order of the tadpole has to be active. See, as you can see, I take that off and I'm like, okay, let's go do these miscellaneous missions, which is what a lot of people might do. And just in case you do, I just wanted to show. But as you can see, it's not showing me where to go. I knew I had to go over there, but I'm like, why is it not showing me? So what you do is, is just take those off and then make sure the order of the tadpole is on and then it'll show you to come over here. Now when you come over here it can be a bit confusing too. You're going to talk to Pompey and he's going to talk for a bit but when he's done you have to do these miscellaneous missions. Now if you just have the order of the tadpole active it's not going to show you where to go as you can see right here. You're going to have to activate the miscellaneous missions again. So this could be extremely confusing. I really wish they would rework this and just put it all into one mission somehow. It would be a lot easier. But I think I covered that enough so you won't be confused. So now that you're doing this first miscellaneous mission, which is just over here in the Toxic Valley, um, I just wanted to say, keep in mind too, there's some Snallygasters over here, a Grafton monster. Like, just be careful when you go over here. And, what, and even some Scorpions here as well. But what you're going to be doing is, is collecting a bunch of this toxic waste. And I think there's five of them. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to run up to each one and collect it. And then you're going to have to bring it back to a safe place. Which is right here on the map at Kitty Corner Cabins, it's called. And then you just put these into the blue waste container and then that miscellaneous mission is done. Now you're already off to a good start to getting this backpack. Don't give up. Keep going. <laughs> There's a lot to do. So the next miscellaneous mission kind of works the same way. Just, you know, if you want to be able to locate it, have the order of the tadpole on and it'll show you to come to Dolly Sods over here. And then you'll talk to Scout Leader Treadley, I think his name is here. And once you're done talking to him, it'll start up a daily called Stings and Things, I think it's called. Yeah, Stings and Things. And then you might want to go under dailies and actually activate that. Now, as you can see, this is confusing. I like I said, I really wish they would rework this a bit, but I feel like I definitely simplified this. So I hope you don't have a problem. And the Stings and Things daily, all you do is go around to these places and collect parts from bugs, basically. Pretty much as simple as that, everybody. 
Uh, yeah, it's five of them. Uh, blood bug propocosis, a bloat fly gland, a stingwing barb, and a tick blood sac. Now there's a trick with the tick blood sac. Um, I would get that first, actually. I didn't here. It's kind of funny that I wound up finding the tick last anyway. But there's actually a tick where you finish this mission. So there's no point in going to that place. So that's why I would say go to it first so you don't accidentally go to it while you're out searching for the other ones. And when you're done, obviously, you know, come back to Dolly Sods. And like I said, maybe before you leave, this is where you can find a tick. So as soon as you spawn into Dolly, like you're going to talk to the robot, he's right there in the cabin to the right. And then just come over here and just be careful, there is a Yao Guai as well. But there's also a tick over here too, a couple of them I usually see. And then, you know, you'll have all of the stuff that you need just to complete the repeatable, the daily actually. Like I said, I lucked out. I could have went and found a tick when I didn't need to, when I could have been going to another location. You know what I mean? So definitely do this one first and then it will be removed from your map and then you can go to the other four places come back here talk to the robot and then you will complete the daily and then you are done the miscellaneous missions for this backpack fairly simple it's just a lot of stuff to do everybody now another thing you have to do to get kindness is to revive an ally now, I highly recommend you get a friend to help you with this. If you can't find a friend, I'm sure if you hop on your microphone and ask somebody in the in the server, they will help you. I guarantee you if you ask a couple people. If you ask me, I would. So if, if the first couple people say no, which I doubt they will, just keep asking and I'm sure someone will help you get this challenge. Tell them you're going for the backpack and they'll be like, oh my God, yeah, I'll help you. And then just maybe have some enemies kill your, en your friend here because it just makes it easier to revive them. If you shoot them, then it might be a little bit harder to get the revive. And thank you, Cacti, for helping me earlier. Thank you, buddy. Now, what we're going to be doing is you have to get three tadpole badges as well after that. So basically six things you have to do. Two miscellaneous, revive a friend, and then three tadpole badges. And we're going to be focusing on archer, athlete, and hunter. And I'm going to show you how to do most of these. I think the only thing I don't show is how to get your charisma and your strength up, but that's pretty self-explanatory. So the first place I want you to come over to is Camp Venture because we're going to be doing the athletic possum point. And basically for this, you're going to have to run some mini marathons. And the, and this is, the, the to be honest, this whole... This whole um, getting the backpack is just a lot of fun. Like, I've done this like three times now. A lot of people will say it's tedious. It is, but just the, the fun stuff you get to do. It's not like shooting guns all the time. It's just some cool stuff. And so basically with the athletic course, to get into it here is you're going to have to run three of these. And you're going to have to run between these yellow flags. And you'll hear a prompt when you go through them. Just keep in mind when you go past these yellow flags right here, if you're not hearing a prompt, then you may have missed it. Like I did here, I had to go back, back down, and then as you can see, it prompted me to go forward again. And they're fairly easy to do. The next one here is at the New River Gorge Bridge, and it's at the top of the bridge, so if you spawn under it, just keep in mind you have to come up here, and it is on the east side, I think it was there, and you just start the test up right here, and it's fairly easy. The third test you're going to have to do is at Sunny Top Ski Lanes, and just keep in mind with this little run marathon, whatever you want to call it, that there are a lot of traps on this one, so just have some stim packs ready. And maybe not run too fast on this one. Like, take your time. You know, not, don't try to barrel through it. Maybe run through it, but a little slower. Maybe jog, if you know what I mean. Because it'll just stop you from running into all these traps, which I'm going to show you. And I wanted to point out, too, that this um, challenge gives you excess of a lot of time. They all do. You'll find, like, if you're familiar with video games, then this will be fairly easy for you to do all three of these. Um... As you can see, there's traps, there's a trip mine there, there's a bear trap that caught me, there's a grenade going off, there's some other stuff, look at this. Just keep in mind on this one, there are some traps, but you have lots of time to complete it. Now, once you've done all of that and gotten your strength and agility to five, you will just have to take the test. Now, we're not gonna take the test, we're gonna start working on Archer because we're gonna do all three of these tests at once. So to start with Archer, I want you to come to the Palace of the Winding Path right here on the map. And when you do, you're going to come over to this location and grab yourself a crossbow. 
And this crossbow is going to help us complete a lot of these hunter missions as well, too. We're doing the archer one now, I think it is. Yeah, archer, athlete, hunter. But this will help with hunter as well. So once you get the crossbow, you're going to have to go to a tinker's workbench and don't make arrows by accident like I did here. Make sure you make crossbow bolts or you won't have what you need to shoot stuff. And then we're going to come over here to the Pioneer Scout Camp. And you're going to be coming this way to the archery range. And that is where you pretty much spawn in. I just did want to show where to go a little bit here because it can be a little tricky to find. Make sure you equip your crossbow. And we're going to be doing a little bit of a shooting challenge right here, which is also a lot of fun. And if you're this far, I just want to say keep going. Don't give up. You're almost there. Halfway. So when you get here, there's a weapons workbench. Make sure you repair the crossbow because repairing it three times is going to get you a challenge complete. And after you've done that, you can start the tadpole archery test. I showed you how to start it there. You just go up to that little intercom and then you'll have to get five bullseyes with all of these targets that I'm showing. And they can be a little tricky to get, but just, you know, enough practice and I'm sure you'll get it. I got it the first try. If you don't, just keep trying. It's pretty easy. You got it. And once you're done the archery test, that is another, you know, step to finishing this. <laughs> Lots to do, I know. So, as you can see, we have the repaired crossbow once as well. Want to keep track of those. Now, what we want to do is start killing enemies with the crossbow. Which you can go wherever you want. I highly recommend Morgantown because the Scorch are fairly easy to kill with the crossbow, unless it's a legendary like I'm showing here. But you can kill any enemy. And it's, it's fairly easy, you just have to get 50. And I just want to tell you too, make sure you're picking up the loot from the enemies, or at least checking the enemies after you kill them, because you will get a lot of crossbow bolts back. So just so you're not running out of ammo, you have to kill 50 enemies, remember. Now, once you've gotten halfway through about 25 enemies killed, I want you to come repair the crossbow again. Make sure you're not wearing, or make sure you don't have gunsmith equipped or weapon artesian equipped. Make sure you do not have those equipped because this will stop you from being able to repair the bow. Just keep that in mind. So now that we've repaired it twice, we're off to killing some more enemies. And I just wanted to show you if you get a you know enemies that are harder to kill with the crossbow like I found ghouls were just sponges for the crossbow bolts um, I just took out a, a lesser powered weapon that I would normally use and I got which is more powerful than the crossbow and I just got their health down really low and then I used the crossbow to kill them so that will make it a little bit easier and then once you're done and you got all 50 kills make sure you head back to your camp or wherever you want to go and repair that crossbow and then you will have all three repairs completed. It's much easier than going searching for crossbows I found earlier on today. And as you can see, we are done the athlete exam now. Okay, so now we're going to get into Hunter. This is probably the hardest challenge to do. So, and that is kill a Yaogwai with a pipe syringer. And trust me, this can be a little bit tricky. I highly recommend you get the marsupial serum. I will link in the description a, um, a video showing you uh, serums and how to get them because the marsupial serum will help you jump and it'll keep you alive while you're shooting this bear. Trust me. But before you go do anything, I want you to craft a combat knife if you can and con or sorry, craft um, a syringer as well. If you cannot craft these, then you probably haven't progressed far enough in the main quest, and I suggest you do that. And also, do not forget to craft some syringer ammo, because you're going to need a bit. I would craft at least 30 or 40 shots. Now, if we come back over to Dolly Sod, you can remember there's two bears over here. So if you do accidentally kill the first bear like I did here, don't worry, there's another one over here. Because the trick is, is we're going to try to lower the bear's health and then kill him with the, the syringer because the syringer is extremely underpowered, which I'm going to show. Yeah, you can see like that did no damage. So what I do is, is I pull out, you know, an average powered weapon 
and just lower the bear's health as much as low as you can get it or as you're comfortable getting it. Just keep in mind that Serenger is not going to take off a lot of points. But you can get it to a point where you will kill him, trust me. Just keep at this and keep shooting him. And you might have to shoot him 10 times with the syringer. Just keep doing it. Trust me, that bear will die. And then you have the hardest challenge complete. And you're literally seven minutes in this video away from completing this backpack. So do not give up. Keep going. Now that's our first hunter challenge done. Make sure you have it done as well. You wouldn't want to, you know, not have it done or it just glitched out. Just make sure. Now another challenge you're going to have to do is to kill another Yaogwai with a shotgun. So you could head over to the Alpha, forward station Alpha, where there's a nuke launch uh, place. I'm sorry I can't, it's right here on the map as I'm showing. Um, you can come there or you can just hop servers and go back to Dolly Sods. There's two bears there and then shoot them with a shotgun. Shotguns are extremely easy to find and you're going to need a hunting rifle as well. You can get these from Super Mutants at West Tech. Pretty much any enemy will drop a shotgun or a hunting rifle. Scorched as well. So pretty straightforward to find those. And then like I said you already have a crossbow to kill the rad stack. So where we're going to come for a wolf is where I just showed on the map right there. I forget what it's called. I apologize for that, but I'm sure you can find it. And I, again, I just lowered the wolf's health because I wasn't sure how much the knife would do damage wise, but it did do a bit. And I just, you know, switch to the knife when it's low health, go over to the wolf, another challenge complete. Easy peasy. Now. To get a black powder weapon, you're going to have to come over here, which is to the left of the palace that we got our crossbow from, and just come upstairs here. There'll be a button that you can activate. It'll open these display cases, and then you'll have access to a black powder pistol right here. I think there might be a rifle in there. Now you're going to have to find some deer or rad stag. And I just suggest going around the toxic valley. That's like the whitish grayish part of the map with all the toxicity in it. Um, which is part of the northern part of the map and there will be rad stags around there And you're gonna have to kill one with the crossbow like I showed and with a hunting rifle like I'm showing here And those are two more challenges done And then again at White Springs Resort just beside the clubhouse where all the the, the ghouls are um, There's usually a couple rad stags over here as well. So, you know, if you just want to come over here to start that might be a good place and then again you're going to need a kill with the black powder pistol now you're going to have to come to this place again to get a bear kill you don't have to like again I, like I said you can hop servers to get a bear kill to get the automatic weapon which is fairly easy to find you can get one off of a super mutant or maybe even a scorched I'm not sure but you'll have to find an automatic weapon and kill another bear do not forget to pick up the meat from them because you have to cook their food as well the bear food and you don't have to cook wolf and rad stag you only have to cook one of those and then you are done the hunter challenge it's as simple as that now, once you are done all those, come back to the Pioneer Scout Camp, and we're going to take the three tests all at once. We're going to hammer these out. Now, before you go to the test, I just suggest you go around to these cabins and take out all the ghouls. You don't want them bothering you while you're um, taking the tests. Um, I don't know if it'll fail you or if it'll let you start over again from where you were, but just to be safe, just come over here into the cabins take out the ghouls and make sure they're not going to be bothering when you come over to these two computers i don't think it matters which one you go to and you're going to take the test now you can try to answer these yourself but i just want you to keep in mind that you have to get five for five to complete the test and pass it so just keep that in mind you have to get every question right and these questions are ridiculously hard so i'm going to leave a link in the description of all the answers for every test so you don't have to just you know trial and error these trust me these tests are really hard if you want to try to you know pass them on your own then all the power to you but just in case you don't want to i will leave a link in the description with all the answers and then after you've completed those three tests the archer athlete and the hunter you just come over here and talk to the robot and you will have all the challenges done and you will get a backpack and a backpack plan which i'm going to show and there you go, everybody. 60 plus carry weight. Yeah, it gives you a backpack as well. I just wanted to show. And here it is, everybody. 60 plus carry weight. Now, if you get the high capacity 
carry mod. I think it's called something like that. We're going to show it here. Um, it will give you a total extra carry weight of 120. So when you craft the bag, which you can now, as I said, after you complete this, of course, you can craft it and make sure you make the level that you are. If you beat this at level 40 or 50, or sorry, 30 or 40, then make sure you come back and make a level 50 bag once you're a higher level. Now to get into the mod, as I was saying, I do recommend the high capacity backpack mod or even the fridge mod, I forget what it's called. And you get it from not this vending machine. These are the pioneer rewards. Or the tadpole rewards, I guess I should say. Um, they're, they're all pioneer rewards, I think. But anyway, you want to come over to this one, the scouts. And the one you're looking, the two you're looking for is the backpack high capacity mod. And I would recommend the refrigerated mod. It's great for, you know, keeping food from spoiling. But if you do want the total of 120 plus carry weight, which is what I use and a lot of people use, then I do recommend this mod for it. Now, to get these points, you need to get eight for each of these. Now, that is easier said than done. Now, you need to do these possum challenges. Now, they're just like the other challenges, but these ones are a lot harder and they might take you a lot more time. Now, I'm not going to get into these ones because this would be like a two hour video if I got into these ones. I just suggest looking through them and going through them and maybe completing the ones you think that would be best suited for you. But to be honest, the best way to get these mods is to get them from Reddit. And as you can see here, once you do put the high capacity backpack mod on, it gives you an additional carry weight of 120 rather than 100 and or sorry, 120 rather than 60. You can see it's 60 there. Now it's 120. And like I said, everybody, the best way to get these is trading on Reddit. You can get both of these mods or one of these mods, but you can get both of them on Reddit, but you can get them for 10 to 20,000 caps. And it's really not hard to use Reddit. I can't stress in my videos enough that you learn how to use Reddit. This is the best way because getting it, you know, through the, the uh, points is just so much of a struggle, trust me. But if you want to, all the power to you. I hope this helps you get a backpack. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Everybody have a great day.